right, this is Ronaldo Moore with PPG back again with another informative video. In this particular video, I am talking about nail guards, stud shoes, and boca plates. Um, it's been a while since I've posted. Been a little busy, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm back on it. I'm back on it. So, hope you guys get something from this, and I'll see you again. Real soon on the next one. All right, let's talk about the nail guard or nail plate. Typically, they are used when an electrical line or conduit is running horizontal. Electrical or plumbing is running horizontal through a stud, and that hole or that line is closer than an inch and a quarter to the edge or the face of that stud, then you need a nail plate or nail guard. You have to make sure that this is the correct gauge as well. So whatever code book you guys or the, whatever code book your state has adopted, check to make sure that the correct gauge is listed and that contractor is using the correct thickness for that nail plate or nail guard. Then there are times where you might see a nail guard or a nail plate used on a vertical, a vertical conduit going up through the top plate. You'll see a setup like that, which is not right. You should have used a bokeh plate where it extends down past our top plate. And you could come across a situation like this. Um, you got your hot and cold water lines behind the stud or going through the stud. They are definitely closer than an inch and a quarter. You could have probably used two nail plates or nail guards, but he just threw a bokeh plate up there or, or a metal plate and co covered up the whole entire stud, which will work um, he didn't include some some fasteners here and here but um that does work all right let's talk about the stud shoe stud shoe is a metal bracket that is used to reinforce a stud uh, i do have a short video on this on this particular subject but a stud shoe is used for if, if the stud has been overboard, the stud itself has been compromised, then you go back and reinforce it with a stud shoe. Um, typically it's a metal bracket and it is normally used on load bearing walls. And last but not least, let's talk about the bokeh plate or the metal plate. These are typically used for plumbing. They're used when the lines are running vertical and they tend to extend up about two inches from the bottom plate or two inches from the top plate. And when that drainage line or water line is closer than an inch and a quarter to the edge of that bottom or top plate, you will need a bokeh plate or metal plate. And you may also run across one of these. These are the larger plates, larger bokeh plates or larger metal plates. Um, you have a three inch, I think that's a three inch line running through a top plate. Um, this particular top plate has been compromised. You have a three inch running through these larger plates are used mostly for reinforcement um, to reinforce that particular top plate and they are also used as a nail guard where they extend down two inches as well so when a top plate has been compromised to the point where it's probably pretty much nothing else there you have to come back with a larger plate you make sure that they have one on each side as well.